Game theory with engineering applications for RGPV exam 2023 notes are in comments section. 1. What is a game? A game is a structured form of play that involves interaction between players, defined rules, and goals. Games can be physical, such as sports, or virtual, such as video games, and they often provide entertainment, challenge, and or educational value. Key elements of a game include players, objectives, rules, challenges, and a feedback system. 2. Game Design Schema Game design schema refers to the framework or structure used to create and analyze games. It encompasses various aspects such as game mechanics, dynamics, aesthetics, and technology. Game designers use schema to plan, develop, and evaluate games, ensuring they are engaging, balanced, and enjoyable. 3. Game Design Fundamentals Game design fundamentals are the core principles and concepts that guide the creation of successful games. These include a. Objectives, clearly defined goals that players strive to achieve. b. Rules, a set of constraints that govern the behavior of players and the game world. c. Mechanics, the actions, interactions, and systems that allow players to progress and experience the game. D. Dynamics, the behavior and patterns that emerge from the interaction of players with the game mechanics. A. Balancing, ensuring that the game is fair and offers appropriate levels of challenge. F. Feedback, providing information to players about their actions and progress within the game. G. Progression, offering a sense of growth, advancement, or narrative development as players engage with the game. H. Immersion, creating an engaging and captivating experience that draws players into the game world. I. User Experience UX, focusing on the overall experience of players, including ease of use, enjoyment, and satisfaction. J. Iteration, the process of refining and improving the game through play testing and feedback. 4. Engineering Application of Game Theory Game theory is a mathematical framework used to study strategic decision-making and interactions between rational players. It finds applications in various engineering fields, including computer science, economics, and operations research. Engineering applications of game theory include a. Game theory in computer science. Game theory is used to design algorithms for decision-making, resource allocation, and optimization problems in computer science. b. Economic game theory. Game theory is used to analyze and model economic systems, market behavior, pricing strategies, and negotiations. c. Game theory in operations research. Game theory is used to study supply chain management, logistics, and strategic planning in operations research. d. Network game theory. Game theory is used to analyze and optimize network protocols, routing strategies, and communication systems. a. Game theory in artificial intelligence. Game theory is used to develop intelligent agents, multi-agent systems, and decision-making algorithms in AI research. Remember to supplement these notes with additional research and examples for a comprehensive understanding of the topics. Design process. 1. Iterative design. Iterative design is a design process that involves repeating cycles of prototyping, testing, analyzing, and refining a design. It acknowledges that the first design iteration is unlikely to be perfect and focuses on continuous improvement through feedback and iteration. The process typically involves the following steps. A. Identify the design problem or challenge. B. Generate initial design concepts or ideas. C. Create prototypes or mock-ups of the design. D. Test and evaluate the prototypes, seeking feedback from users or stakeholders. A. Analyze the feedback and identify areas for improvement. F. Refine the design based on the feedback and insights gained. G. Repeat the cycle by creating new iterations of the design and conducting further testing and refinement. Iterative design allows for incremental improvements, reduces risks, and increases the likelihood of creating a successful and user-centered design.
2. Commissions in Design Commissions in design refer to the process of receiving a specific design project or assignment from a client or organization. When a designer receives a commission, they are contracted to create a design solution based on the client's requirements, objectives, and budget. The commissioning process typically involves the following steps. A. Initial consultation. The designer meets with the client to understand their needs, goals, and vision for the design project. B. Proposal and agreement. The designer presents a proposal outlining the scope of work, timeline, cost, and any specific deliverables. Once both parties agree, a contract is signed. C. Research and concept development. The designer conducts research, gathers inspiration, and develops initial design concepts that align with the client's requirements. D. Design presentation. The designer presents the design concepts to the client, explaining the rationale behind each concept and seeking feedback. A. Iteration and refinement. Based on the client's feedback, the designer refines and iterates on the chosen design concept, making necessary revisions. F. Finalization and delivery. Once the design is approved, the designer finalizes the project, prepares the necessary files or materials, and delivers them to the client. G. Client Feedback and Revisions. The client may provide additional feedback or request minor revisions after reviewing the final deliverables, which the designer accommodates as per the agreed terms. H. Project Closure and Payment. Once the client is satisfied with the design and all deliverables are provided, the project is considered closed, and the final payment is made. It's important to note that the specific steps and details of the design process may vary depending on the project, client, and designer's approach. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe and share.